Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions and 10 Minute Design. I received a request for a tutorial for a text heavy graphic t-shirt design. Okay, so a few resources I want to share first. One would be dafont.com, this website right here. A lot of royalty free fonts that you can use, um, a lot of categories, some just really cool fonts that you can download. Another resource, I've mentioned this a bunch of times, brusheasy.com, a lot of free brushes, um, grunge brushes, nice wavy stuff, a lot of things that you can use to create your graphics. Okay, this makes creating t-shirts especially very easy when you use this resource. And lastly, you just go to Google Images and you search up grunge elements or grunge lines, grunge circles. Use that word grunge a lot, you get a lot of cool stuff. So here's a um, t-shirt I made just the other day. With great Photoshop comes great responsibility just to play on that uh, line from Spider-Man. So we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a variant of this t-shirt. And we're going to do that in little, little time. So right away I've already created uh, Photoshop here with a nice kind of eroded font, which is really cool. Um, so I'm just going to copy that over. When you're copying something down like that, all you need to do is hold Alt or Option. Go responsibility. We'll move that down. Perfect. All you need, yeah. All you need to do is hold Alter Option, drag, and you create a new layer. Now we're going to create a second one. So I'm going to change the font here. Uh, where are we going to go? There we go. Now, whenever you're creating these, um, these. Uh, teach these designs with lot with lots of text you can change the font I wouldn't change too much I would stick to maybe two possibly three fonts but don't go too much because then well it just gets too confusing so with great Photoshop comes great responsibility we can copy that one last time and 10 design.com there's our website make that small okay See, already we have a cool, so it's all about just aligning them in different ways, actually. I might put this, everything aligned the same place. So it's all about just the alignment and the fonts and arrangements and everything. So we could even take this and make it sideways like that. That actually looks kind of neat. All right, so. Now, last thing we can do, okay, see, this one has some really cool, the font I use has some really cool kind of erosion in it and stuff like that. Not all fonts will have that, but I think it adds a really cool effect on the t-shirt. So what we can do is we can take, grab all our text elements, put them in a folder, um, add a mask to that, and we're going to grab a brush. Now I've got these nice crack brushes here. Open up the uh, brush dialog. If you don't have that, just go to Windows Brushes. And over here, we're going to hit Shape Dynamics size jitter, angle jitter. So every time we brush, it'll change the direction, the variant of that brush. And look at that, we can just add our own kind of erosion. Now this one's already got it, so don't go too much, but add a little bit maybe in there. Not too much, because then you don't want to not be able to read your text. That's pretty good already, just that. Maybe a bit too much here, so you want to undo it, just grab a kind of a thicker brush, make sure it's white, you're on the mask, and just Bring that guy a little back a little bit. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's now let's play around with some uh, brushes again. So I'm actually going to grab my little grunge thing I had here. I'm going to paste that in and bring it below. Now is where we can play with colors. I'm actually, we could go, actually red looks pretty damn cool. So we're just going to go with a darker red like that. Put that down there. And you know what? I may want my, at least this one to be red as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, so one down, let's get more. So, um, got some cool grunge uh, brushes here. So what I'm gonna do is create a layer, brush. Now the brush was black, so make sure we paste our layer styles on there. I'll put that right here. Every time you do something like that, grab a mask. 
Now we can grab just a regular brush and just brush where we don't want it to appear. Oop, make sure you're not black. No. Add a new layer. And what we're doing every time I'm adding a layer, I'm pasting the layer style. I'm grabbing my grunge style brush. And that's all I'm doing. So I'll put that one there. And then I'm adding my mask. Grabbing my solid brush again. And then brushing out where I don't want it to brush. Okay, perfect. So in a few steps, basically what we've done here is we've um, we've arranged some different text elements with different fonts. We've we've masked them out, added a bit of erosion using some scratch brushes, and then we added in our design elements, some grunge brushes and some ink splatters. And just like that, in a few minutes, we've created a really awesome text-heavy t-shirt design. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Please click here for a video on how to uh, convert this to EPS now to upload. If you're uploading to Teespring or you're sending to a local um, print shop, then click here and find out how to do that. You can click here to see how to create a um, t-shirt design from a photograph. Comment below if you like this video. Let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Twitter. This is Rod Baldwin. Thanks for watching.